Hello, people. Uh, my name is Rory, and uh, hit the like and subscribe button right now before you watch this video because I need likes and subscriptions. I don't care. Uh, just do it. You know, um, we need to support each other during these uncertain times, and I'm trying to create like a channel. You know, today's video is on how to do a stencil. There are many ways to do a stencil. Uh, this is just one way. Okay, so. Check it, check, check, check. So what you will need is a black color pencil. You will need some frog tape that you can buy this at Walmart or wherever. It's really cheap. It's great. It's awesome. Um, you will need a tablet, smart tablet, um, some color pencils. Um, <clears throat> you will also need a smart TV. Okay. Uh, this is a Vizio. Um, I should probably try to get me some uh, some advertising, uh, you know, uh, some money for that, you know. It's a Vizio TV. Vizio pay me. Um, so this is, uh, this frog tape here is uh, really awesome because it allows you to, it's just sticky enough to stick it to things like this and not damage anything. Um, it won't get stuck. It's not like scotch tape, right? It's really easy to come off. Um, but, uh. Yeah, it's like masking tape, but it's not. So, um, I've already got this done. But just in case you want to know how to do this for all you non-millennials or whatever. Um, uh, so, um, you go to the right-hand side. You'll need to update your tablet, by the way. Um, so, go to the right-hand corner of your tablet and pull it down you'll get a little menu and uh, normally where it says bedroom TV it'll say screen mirroring and you hit the screen mirroring button and then you you click on your TV and whatever you're looking at on your tablet goes to your TV and as you can see um, I put the TV down on its back so it's like a light table now um, yeah so there's a little little hack for you uh, how to make a light table without buying a light table but just be careful because you know, you don't want to hurt the screen or anything. That's why we're going to use a black color pencil. Um, you, you don't want to put any pressure on it. You want to you want to be very light with it because we don't want to damage the TV. Okay, right. Okay, so let's see. All right. Um, I hope you guys like my singing. So you get all kind of things. You know, when I do a video, it's not just, you know, art, man. It's music, and you learn all kind of things from me, man. I'm just like, I'm just crazy like that, you know? Okay, so check this out. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, pretty, pretty simple. Um, you know, if you've ever traced anything, that's what we're going to do here, man. We're going to trace this image. That's what you want to do first. Um, now, there's nothing wrong with tracing. You know, uh, a lot of a lot of artists out there will be like, "Oh man, you traced that!" Like, nah, man. Like, you know, um, if you've been drawing for a long time, this shouldn't be uh, a problem for you. You know, um, because if you if you're just new to art you can still do this but um you know it's always good to uh, kind of get your stripes your feet wet and do a lot of sketching you know um i remember back when uh they used to do those art instruction videos and they'd like send you a little pamphlet and you had to draw the thing perfectly as you saw it right i can do that you know i've been doing art for so long that i don't need to do this stencil i can actually sketch it on canvas and that's another way um, to get what you want um, but this is like for production purposes um, and even if you do use a stencil the, the weird thing is it's not going to come out perfect um, it's just the way that the paper's on top and then you know from from this then we transfer it to canvas and everything always kind of gets out of place um, maybe that's just me but um, I guess to my eye, that's what I see. Um, but this is just going to be a whole lot easier um, to do. Um, 
gives you a, a different uh, effect so um, now you don't have to sketch everything that you see um, or uh, trace everything that you see just just the just the meat and potatoes right um, a lot just just trace the things that you think you would need to to paint this whole thing and um, I'm gonna figure out how to um, edit this thing and do a time-lapse video of this um, because it's really uh, it seems I'm bit, biting off more than I can chew this is a lot more detail than I thought was in this thing um, is uh, take the sticky tape off okay all right now Okay, so now what we do is um, you take your color pencil and what you're going to want to do take your color pencil or the block or whatever and you just want to cover get down This is on the other side of the uh, tracing paper. So just get it down. Get it on there real good. Not, not too, you don't want too much on here to where you can't see it on the other side. But you know, but you don't want you don't want it to be like where it's not going to transfer. So just get enough on there. Okay. All right. This is my canvas. Um, you'll need to coat your canvas before you do this and I have a video on how to coat your canvas um, like and subscribe on that um, maybe I'll put a link to that video in the description below I've always wanted to say that um, so <laughs> anyway. dang it is dark in here turn on the damn light hot lamp all right um so what you'll also need to do is uh get your get your frog tape and uh yeah man just staple it to the table or whatever surface you're working on you don't want it you don't want the paper to move obviously if you've ever done any tracing before um, so just make sure you got enough tape to where this thing is not going to move on you and uh, so now shit. Uh, you can get a pen I, I think a pen would, would go good with this so that you can see the lines that you're doing. 
Okay. Now uh, you just retrace it. But you want to use hard pressure when you retrace it. Alright, so that does so that you know it transfers. Not too hard pressure, you know, you don't want to rip the paper, tracing paper. Okay, so we have the finished product now. Um, let's see if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see it. Um, you can see it. I mean, obviously in real life, uh, it's you know that, and that's what you want. You know, you don't want the uh, you don't want it to be too dark on the canvas. Uh, you know, you want it to you know be easy uh, to put paint on. So. Um, that's why I use blue color pencil because I didn't want to use like charcoal or black or because um, I just want to be able to use certain colors on it I guess sort of um, okay so that's my video um, on how to uh, transfer uh, stencil to canvas I will be posting another video of me um, doing this painting um, so stay tuned, hit the like and subscribe button.